Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And this video is actually really exciting because it is my four week baby bump date with baby number two. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Desiree. I'm currently 25 years old. I am a mom of one little girl, 15 month old girl. And we just find, found out that we are pregnant with baby number two. And we are so, so excited. I just feel so blessed to be able to go through this journey again and to just be able to experience it all over again it's been the first time around was so beautiful it was such a blessing and i'm so grateful that i recorded it and documented it and i just really want to make sure i do the same with this pregnancy so that i can have it to look back on you know and just always have these memories but let's go ahead and get into it i want to i'm gonna make a separate video on how i found out that i was pregnant so i guess you could say like how I knew I was pregnant before, you know, my positive test and all that. But let's go ahead and get into it. So I, today is November 13th, 2020, Friday. And according to my app, I am four weeks on the dot today. So I know that a lot of people will do their um, videos on, like they'll document the fourth week on week five. But the way that I did it with Iris was just like the day that I turned that week, I would do, I would do the video for that week. So I'm gonna do it the same with this pregnancy. So I am currently four weeks according to my app. I will not be able to see my doctor until I turn seven and a half weeks or so on December 8th. So that will be my first appointment, unfortunately. Um, but we will get an ultrasound that day. So I'm excited about that. And as far as symptoms go, I had to write them down because, um, you know, I forget stuff. Symptoms this week were cramping and stomach pain. I don't normally have stomach issues at all. I just noticed that I was having lots of actual, like not period cramps, but like stomach cramps and loose bowels. So that's a little TMI, but I mean, it's a pregnancy update, so it's gonna kind of be TMI. So um, lots of stomach pain, cramping and loose bowels um, in the early days. I noticed that I was having um, a lot of gas, still am, it's kind of gross, again, TMI, but it is what it is. I've been a lot gassier than usual. I have noticed that I've been really thirsty and that my lips have been way more dry than usual. I also wrote down bloating. Bloating was one, the first, first thing that I noticed that I was like, I've been eating really healthy, drinking a ton of water, like I don't understand why I'm so bloated. But yeah, bloating and shortness of breath, at first I thought it was just because I was, you know, running around with a toddler all day, but then especially yesterday after I put her down to bed, like I was sitting on the couch and I just couldn't breathe. <laughs> so I was like, what the heck? It was really weird, but shortness of breath apparently is a symptom. And yesterday and today I did notice um, instances, it hasn't been constant, but just instances of shooting pains in my breast. So I've had some of those um, just like little sharp stabbing pains but it's nothing like consistent i don't have any type of nipple sensitivity or anything like that so those have been the symptoms so far that i have been as far as like what i'm going through what is you know going on my daughter is currently 15 months and we are still breastfeeding so i am still breastfeeding that hasn't changed i don't know how it's gonna be once i start if i end up getting nausea with this pregnancy with iris i did get really bad nausea starting around five and a half weeks i want to say five and a half maybe six weeks um or six and a half weeks i think it was six and a half weeks hopefully i know that they say every pregnancy is different so i'm praying that this time around i don't feel as sick but we'll see i do want to try to wean her off before the baby is born probably by the time she's 18 months that's my goal because i do plan on breastfeeding this baby and i just want to you know do what's best for me and for our family and i feel like I'll be a better mom being able to just focus on breastfeeding solely one child instead of tandem breastfeeding both just because breastfeeding in and of itself is, it's a beautiful thing, but it's very physically demanding, very emotionally demanding. And I just think that the best thing for us would be for me to nurse one baby at a time, which means that I would have to wean Iris off before this baby is. Uh, as far as vitamins go, I am taking a prenatal vitamin. I have never stopped, actually. I was taking a pre vitamin before I got pregnant with Iris, obviously throughout my whole entire pregnancy. And since I was breastfeeding, I never stopped taking it. And since I'm still breastfeeding, I still take them. So 
Um, I've kind of had that in my system for over 15 months, about two years now. Um, I just use the Vitafusion gummy ones, nothing special, but yeah, those are the ones that I use. I take two a day. They've been great. Um, according to my app, my due date would be July 23rd. So another Leo baby, but I have the feeling that this baby will come before July 23rd only because, I mean, Iris was born early. She was born at 37 weeks, four days, and my water was leaking with her. So I did have to get induced and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm pretty sure the baby will be here before then. So it'll probably be a cancer baby, but July 23rd, according to my apps, currently is my due date and iris will be two on august 2nd so i will have a two under two for about a week <laughs> or two weeks or maybe a month depending on how soon this baby comes so my current weight is 121 pounds i am lighter now than when i fell pregnant with iris when i did fall pregnant with iris i was around 130 pounds and i only ended up gaining 27 pounds but i did lose about 10 i lost about I was 133 when I fell pregnant with her and I got down to 120. That was my lowest weight between, you know, the morning sickness and the vomiting and everything. I was vomiting every single day up until like 18 weeks with her pregnancy. So I did lose a lot of weight in the first trimester and I gained about 27 pounds back. I ended my pregnancy at around 147. So with this pregnancy, I don't know how much I'm going to gain. I don't know if I'm going to end up losing, but I am starting at a you know, smaller than I did with Iris. So I'm currently 121 pounds. I'm not worried about the weight gain or anything like that. I, you know, I know that I eat healthy, I work out, so I'm fine with that. But guess we can go ahead and get into the bump shot. Oh, and I wanna mention that if you're watching these videos, I am probably way further along in my pregnancy, so be sure to look out for the next videos I'm gonna be posting out. I'm gonna do it the same way I did with Iris's pregnancy where I'm gonna be filming these, but I'm not going to be posting them until after I've announced it to social media, which will probably be in about a month or so. So, you know, I'll just record these and then I'll go ahead and edit them and have them ready and then just post them every single day up until we're caught up to however many weeks I am. But yeah, let's go ahead and do the bump shot. This is from the front. I'm gonna go ahead and suck it in because I'm really bloated right now and I don't want it to look like I have a belly, so this is normal. This is kind of just like sucked in. Normal. Sucked in. So I don't think like I have a bump at all. I mean, I do kind of have like a little bit of a mom pouch. It's always been there. I ended up having a C-section with Iris. So I kind of just have like that little, little bin, which I've been working so hard on and I'm not upset. Again, we were trying for this baby. So we're so happy and so blessed to be pregnant. But, you know, I was working really hard on getting rid of that, you know, that little bit and really tightening that skin up, but that's okay. You know, I love my mom body as it is and I take care of it and I'm, you know, I'm ready to just do it all over again after this baby's born. Yeah, that is my current belly at four weeks with baby number two. I know that usually with your second pregnancy, you start to show faster and especially because I'm having them in such succession, like so close together, it might be that I start showing sooner. So that's exciting, but yeah. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.